party conference right now in Liverpool, covering the latest as leader Keir Starmer just delivered his keynote speech. But the speech is being somewhat overshadowed now, actually overtaken by events, as MP Rupert Huck has now been administratively suspended from the Labour Party after she described Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng as, get this, superficially black. Good grief. Joining me now is GB News' political editor, Darren McCaffrey. Darren, just give us the latest, and it might be worth reading out this quote as well, I think. Yeah, so the, are these fringe events at party conferences essentially where MPs and delegates and members go and they talk about various different issues. But Rupert Huck was uh, essentially caught on audio tape at one of these fringe meetings talking about the Chancellor and the government, uh, at which she said, I am going to read you yeah. the, the quote, which she uh, said that Kwasi Kwarteng, when she was talking about the new Chancellor, that he is superficially, he is a black man. He went to Eton, I think he went to a very expensive prep school all the way through the top schools in the country. If you hear him on the Today programme, you wouldn't know he is black. Mm. Now, unsurprisingly, that has caused a lot of outrage, not least among senior Conservatives, uh, including people like uh, Sajid Javid and others, calling the comments vile, saying that she needs to apologise. In fact, Angela Rayner, yeah. the deputy leader, was interviewed just a couple of minutes ago, saying that she needed to apologise. Uh, however, Labour have clearly taken quite sides of action all of this. They've already suspended her from the party, pending an investigation, and it's being condemned. In fact, my colleague has just been at a press briefing uh, where the party is outrightly and full-heartedly condemning the comments. But you're right, this is the last thing the Labour Party wanted. You know, frankly, they got through this week presenting a really united image after what's been a pretty turbulent years for the party, and now they're having to deal with this issue on the day Keir Starmer's made a speech. Not great for them. Yeah. Uh, and we'll have to see. I'm not entirely sure what they're going to have to investigate, given the fact that Rupert Huck was caught saying this on tape. Yeah. But we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Yes, indeed. And like you said, the last thing that Labour needed at the moment, isn't it, really? And it's fascinating, these fringe events. So quite often MPs must assume that they're not going to be recorded at these things and so that could be a concern for people because if 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 she felt as though well no one's really going to hear me say this apart from who's in this room that's kind of what closet racism is about but at these fringe events people what just kind of open up do they how does it work well i think in many regards i mean you have to remember obviously angela rayner got herself into a bit of trouble last oh, year yes. when, at exactly Labour party conference at a fringe event in which she talked about uh, the conservative party um and two people, I, I think, frankly, it's one of these things that, yes, it's a more intimate setting, so you're not on a stage like Keir Starmer was today. You, you're normally in quite a small room, though often with quite a few people there. Mm. So do people feel a bit freer to talk? Maybe. I also think, frankly, you know, and we'll have to see what Ruhal has yeah, to say about yeah, this. Yeah. We have not had a response from her, so we're going to have to wait and see yes. what she says. But what I would say is that often people do talk for a long period of time. You know, these things can go on for an hour, an hour and a half. Uh, and people may well say things that, I don't know, they didn't necessarily mean or whatever, simply because they are talking so much. But clearly, you know, this was a thought process. When you read what she actually has to say, uh, you know, she talks about it at the start of that quote, doesn't she, when she calls him superficially, yeah. he's a black man. And then at the end, essentially, is again, suggesting you wouldn't know he was black. So we're going to have to wait to see what she says. But... You know, these remarks clearly roundly condemned, not just outside, but even within.